Eight members of Indium Corporation graduated from their apprenticeship program, making them certified journey workers. That's so cool. News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai tells us about the program and what it means to the manufacturing industry. The first cohort of industrial manufacturing techs have completed their 18-month program at Indium Corporation and are now considered journey workers. Don Roller, the Associate Vice President of Human Resources, talked about what the journey workers have achieved. So those things are called stackable credentials. As you move through the program, you achieve different milestones, and these are stackable credentials. Those credentials include college credits from Mohawk Valley Community College, required technical instruction, which certifies these journey workers with nationally recognized abilities, and recognition from the National Institute of Standards and Technology for the semiconductor skills they've achieved. Those credentials give them the opportunity to work anywhere in the country. It is somewhat counterintuitive because you might think, well, if you invest in your team such that they have a portable credential, maybe they're more likely to leave. I think just the opposite. You know, a great line was said a long time ago, what's worse, if you train them and they leave or you don't train them and they stay? I spoke with Anthony George after the graduation ceremony to find out if he intends to stay with the company. Yeah, I think it's important to stay with them, even though they went out and did this, you know, for me. So it's my, my turn to give it back, right? <laughs> the apprenticeship program is paid for through the New York State Department of Labor. MVCC will apply earned credits towards the degree so that journey workers can advance their career choices. Julianne Birchall earned her certification and will help train a new apprentice. So does she think the program was worth it? I know it can be frustrating sometimes. You have eight hours of work or ten hours of work, plus you're trying to do homework and study and take tests, and you just got to stick with it. It's, it's sometimes frustrating, but it's totally worth it in the end. The program has been such a success, there are nine additional team members here that are set to graduate in the winter of 2024. In Clinton, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.